If you wanted to protect valuable information, wouldn't you keep it under lock and key? Or perhaps use keys, like the ancient Greeks, to encrypt messages to turn them into nonsense. Huh? Only with the right key would all be illuminated. Today, modern encryption uses keys to try to keep data on our computers, mobile devices, and communication networks safe. It encrypts the data by converting it into digital gibberish, which means it can't be processed. That's the point of encryption. The data needs to be decrypted to be processed by the computer or mobile device. And you need the right keys. But decrypted data is more vulnerable to being intercepted. So how can we keep our data safe? In 2010, Craig Gentry, a graduate student supported by the National Science Foundation, thought of a new way to protect data, now called fully homomorphic encryption. It's a way to process data without ever decrypting it. To explain this, he invented an imaginary character named Alice. Alice owns a jewelry store, and she doesn't trust her workers with her expensive gems and jewelry, so she gets an impenetrable box. It's locked, and only Alice has the key. When Alice wants her employees to make a new piece of jewelry, she locks the materials inside the box and hands it off to her workers. Using special gloves, employees can work on the gems inside the box, but can't get them out. Once the work is done, Alice opens the box with her key and takes out the finished jewelry. In this way, her workers process raw materials into jewelry without ever truly having access to the materials themselves. Fully homomorphic encryption basically does the same thing. As data and computation move to the cloud, fully homomorphic encryption would allow your data to be processed without ever having to give away access to it. Just imagine a web application that could do your tax return using encrypted financial information without actually seeing any of it. Cryptographers, including Gentry, are still figuring out how to turn the idea of homomorphic encryption into a reality. But this isn't the only idea they're exploring. There's honey encryption, where wrong guesses of the key produce information that looks right but isn't. Functional encryption, where cryptographic keys are hidden within software. Even quantum key encryption, where the quantum nature of atoms protects the data. All are active areas of study supported by the National Science Foundation. The result? It may one day be possible to ensure the security of important information wherever it may be. Our computers, mobile devices, and even in the cloud. <laughs>